Yo, what is up guys? So I'm here to showcase off a completely different way to play Trick Stars. Now, I'm sure a lot of you guys know that archetype for being a deck that just wins first turn. But what if I told you there was a way to play kind of different, and actually it's completely different because you're not essentially trying to beat your opponent first turn. Although it can still happen, we're actually utilizing this old school card called Appropriate. Now, it is a little bit slower, but that's, that's the reason why it's completely different. Maybe you guys already have Trick Stars, you kind of got bored of beating your opponent before they got to play, even though at that point, uh, you probably are pretty satisfied that uh, your opponent is salty. But, there's another way to play the deck, and it's using this card called Appropriate. Now, Appropriate is a continuous trap card that says, activate only when your opponent draws a card, except for during their draw phase. Draw two cards. Now, that actually works really well with the new Link monsters, because of what you're about to see. But anyways, um, the guy actually had Twin Twisters, and he actually got rid of the back row, as well as the Trickstar Life Stage. But he left Appropriate, and he's going to be regretting this, because you guys will see right here, uh, courtesy of Tsubasa, because he's the original guy that I'm aware of. He's the first guy that actually sent in an appropriate build uh, for Trick Stars. Now, uh, the new Link monster lets you like get rid of a card and then draw an extra card, which actually works well with some of the newer Trick Star cards that people don't even play. So it's utilizing more of the cards in the archetype, which not that many people are doing. People are so focused in on winning turn one. Now, this card is like really old. Um, back in the day with like Chainsaw Insect, Dark Bride, like this card was pretty legit. Like it gives you a lot of advantage because when you go for the Trick Star Link monster, you will actually be able to draw three cards, as you guys will see over here. So we got Ghost Ogre over there, and there's a lot of decks that just draw extra cards. Let's be honest, there's a lot of different archetypes that just have free draw power, and that's kind of definitely help out over. So you see, we're going for it, the Trick Star Bloody Bear, and he drew three cards off of it because you get one effect from uh, just getting rid of a Trick Star card, and then each player draws a card. But with appropriate, you're going to actually be able to draw three cards off of that, and that's pretty good. We got the Grand Horn of Heaven stopping some plays and actually getting two extra cards, which can actually help you draw into your extra hand traps in the game. Uh, we see Tornado Dragon hitting the light stage, and that's the wrong target. You need to get rid of appropriate. This card just got so much free advantage. He's activating non-aggression area, which is actually going to make it so he can't normal or special summon. So basically, next turn, he doing nothing. Uh, we see the light stage activated once again, and he's going to go ahead and summon Lily Bell, going to Bloody Mary. Activate that effect again. Get the appropriate effect. Draw two more extra cards. We've got the Mandrake, another new Trickstar card. Uh, which is actually what you want to actually discard with with Bloody Mary to actually special summon it and get the additional draws It's so dang dirty as you guys are seeing over here He's just gonna be taking some extra damage and he can't really do too much over here activating false dig But dark bribe is there to stop the day and on then also he gets to just draw extra cards We got the uh, new card and the guy's just like dude. I'm done with you I had enough of these shenanigans because <laughs> I uh, dude I mean it's just gonna be an uphill battle plus he still had a ghost over drawing it again into those additional traps and hand traps. Um, now, I got a couple uh, replays I want to showcase for you guys, and then I'll give you guys the duck profile. There's actually technically two builds here, but overall, the main concept is we're utilizing a really old school card. Um, the guy ends up going for like a really questionable play over here, and goes for uh, Sea Monster Theseus, goes into uh, Proxy Dragon, then summons Gofu. I don't know why he ended his turn like this. This was, to my personal opinion, a terrible play. Maybe he like, miscalculated or something. Anyways, uh, he gets regeki so it didn't matter if he threw out like five firewall dragons, it was going to be game over. Anyway, so all he has is Honest over here. And uh, we do see, again, the appropriate over here. He's going for a left arm offering, which is a pretty hefty uh, investment over there. Uh, a lot of people will do that with chicken game. And when he flips up the appropriate, and his opponent's just like, dude, I, I can't win. Like, the only way he was going to win is if he got like superior advantage, which appropriate would actually stop. Um, because it's not only like a once per turn effect. You can get this effect multiple, multiple times, which obviously becomes really good. And again, that player that was playing dinosaurs, because he didn't get rid of it, he basically lost the duel. There's also another card I want to talk about, um, which is non-aggression area. Now, uh, it makes Trickstar's turn one play a little bit better because uh, sometimes it can be a little bit difficult for you to finish off your opponent because you need that like extra card. But with non-aggression area, it'll give you that additional turn you need. Um, and then sometimes you can actually get the uh, attacks directly with the Trick Stars if they don't happen to have anything. Uh, turn one, maybe you go for, again, some of the newer stuff that we're playing in this deck to make it so your opponent like basically gets to draw a card but they like lose out on like their normal summon uh, or they're activating an effect. Uh, it's, it's that new counter trap card that some people are messing around with and it gives them the extra draw. 
And that can, again, work really well with non-aggression area over here because it's going to make it so your opponent cannot summon. And most decks require summoning, so at that point, their only back row is going to be, majority of the time, let's be honest here, it's going to be solemn, right? So uh, you're just going to go ahead and hit the one back row that they usually will play, which is usually solemn. Maybe there's a bluff there, but um, wondering Trickstars is not the greatest thing anyways. The guy loses before he even gets to play the game. That's just showing you guys you could still win in this deck, even though this card could have been appropriate. It could have been just another one of those cards to start all one turn and again it's just that whole like non-aggression area where your opponent literally cannot yukio uh but that's basically the deck in a nutshell however there's a few other cards that we have not seen which we're going to see right now it's the bell madonna this is the towers of the archetype oh, mass over the correct card here uh so anyways trickstar bella madonna um, has that ability to make it so if it does not point to a monster, it's unaffected by all other card effects. And then on top of that, if it does not point to a monster, you can inflict 200 damage to your opponent for each Trickstar monster in your graveyard. So, oh, with a different name though, that's kind of important. But it is a little bit more difficult to make because uh, it has uh, four zones, it's a uh, Link 4. Uh, but what you're able to do with some of the newer stuff, and we'll go over them, there's Caro, Caro Bean and there's also uh, Mandrake. Those will allow you to special summon much easier. We got the new Ritual Beasts. Well, I mean, the guy's trying to play the new Ritual Beasts over here because they uh, technically got a change over there. They also got some new stuff, but uh, it's not going to really matter, as you guys will see. So he's going to go ahead and just kind of go for like a standard little play. I'm just getting in some extra damage. And uh, a lot of times, um, when Trickstar is getting the direct attack happens, it's it's really hard to come back because you start losing to some small cards. Um, now he's going to go ahead and summon the double Ritual Beasts over here, or Spiritual Beasts uh, first. They will be Ritual Beasts in just a second. Uh, but anyways... Light Sage just being a very annoying card to deal with, and he's going to go ahead and go for that Pendulum Summon, suffering, summoning the Satellar Knight, Zephra, Hooven, and it's going to go ahead and get rid of Appropriate, unfortunately. We're, we're not going to get that extra draw power, but Honest is here to save the day. And there's actually another card that's basically an Honest for their own archetype, and now we have the Ritual Beast Ultia Pelio out. And uh, he's going to go ahead and summon the Kadena. Kadena's going to go ahead and get Light Sage. Light Sage then gets you another Trickstar card, which is, can be Mandrake, which is the new uh, card where uh, what you want to do is you want to link up into the Bloody Mary, activate its effect, get rid of Mandrake. Mandrake will then special summon itself, and you're going to get additional cards. So it's going to help you in like, multiple ways. If he, if he had appropriate, he'd be drawing an extra two cards right there. Um, then he's going to go ahead and go for Bella Madonna, and that's going to actually burn his opponent there for game um, because it has that ability to burn your opponent. So like minimum, I would say like obviously you got to use uh, like at least two and if you go into it from Bloody Mary, um, that's usually going to be like at least three. So it's going to be 600 points of damage. We're talking minimum. And then on top of that, you, you, when does Trickster's not have Light Sage? So it's another like 200 on top of that. And then obviously you pass your opponent and they're going to draw a card. They're going to lose an additional uh, amount. So Anyways, now that you guys have seen like what appropriate can do, it was mostly the first replay that I really wanted to go over. Uh, the other guys did get rid of it because I guess they they, they do. They, you have to get rid of that card fast. It, again, it's trying to play Trick Stars at a completely different like play style. Even though like you can again win turn one, which we did see. There's two different builds here. Um, but the, the most important stuff, oh, let's go over like the deck profile first as far as like the numbers go, and then we'll go ahead and talk about some of the cards maybe that uh, you guys didn't get to see, and we'll talk a little about them. So anyways, first off, we have two copies of Caribbean. Now, this card is basically, uh, like, if you want to call an Honest, you can. Um, but anyways, if you control no monsters, you can just special summon her, and she's got 2,000 attack. Um, you can special summon her uh, if you control no monsters, or all monsters are Trickstar monsters. So you can actually throw this into other things. It's also a fairy, so it can work well, maybe if you're playing agents. <laughs> uh, but anyways, uh, or maybe counter fairies, I don't know. Uh, just just so you can go into Link Monsters, basically, is what I wanted to go into. And it's a level 5, so potentially you could just like summon two of them. And uh, maybe... Uh, it says uh, you can only use one of the, uh, the effects uh, where you're able to... Um, it's, it's during the damage step when a Trickstar monster battles an opponent's monster. As a quick effect, you send it from your hand to the graveyard, and the monster you control gains attack equal to its original attack. So basically it doubles the attack until the end of this turn. You can only activate... Uh, you can only use one Trickstar Caribbean effect per turn only once that turn. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's just for the, the discard. I'm, correct me if I'm wrong, but I, th I think you can still special summon two of them, so you can just go into rank five, maybe go into like Volcasaurus, who remembers that card as an older burn card, but uh, definitely still a viable card in like this deck, if you can make it. Uh, someone again, correct me if I'm wrong on that. 
But anyway, we're playing two copies of her. We've got three copies of Kadena. This is like a bread and butter staple of the archetype. Then we got double copies of Honest, um, and then we have one copy of Narcus. So if your opponent takes an effect damage, except during the damage step, you can just special summon it from your hand. Again, this is more so just to make the link monsters, but um, each time your opponent activates a monster effect in their hand or graveyard, you can burn them for an additional uh, 200. Not really a fan of this card too much, but if you want to really like summon link monsters, it can tactically uh, be of use in that aspect because sometimes I find it where you're special summoning up during your opponent's turn and that's not exactly what you want to do. Although if technically if it does survive, uh, you know, maybe through the effect of Caribbean or Honest, it can be technically used. It's just, I've never been a fan personally of this card. I feel like I would rather run some of the other newer cards. But anyways, next up, uh, the Trickstar Lycros. So um, this lets you just bounce back the uh, monster. Uh, which is always going to be Kadena, like 99% of the time. And then I guess you could technically bounce back, like other cards you can just special summon again anyways, because that's what the archetype does. Um, that in fact, okay, I don't think you can like do a loop. Uh, I was just thinking like, can you do somehow a loop with like just bouncing them back and, uh, and maybe someone will figure out some type of loop with uh, some of the other newer support. But anyways, uh, next up we got two copies of Lily Bell. So uh, if it's added to your hand, you can just special summon it. So that can actually work well with some of the newer stuff because you're cycling through cards a little bit faster. And then uh, one of the new cards that I really like, if you want to play this uh, as a more of a link oriented deck to bust out the link monsters, because as of right now, like they are technically used, but they don't get to see that much play um, compared to, I've just seen other people make a lot of other things in the deck and a lot of times you just don't go for them. But Mandrake can definitely help out with that. So. Mandrake over here, uh, it's the card that I was talking about with Bloody Mary. Basically, whenever you would get rid of a card, you get rid of this card, because whenever it's sent from the hand to the graveyard, you just special summon it in defense position, and you banish it when it leaves the field. But if this uh, card is sent to the graveyard as a, a material for Link Summon of a Trickstar Link Monster, you can target one monster uh, an opponent's Link Monster points to destroy it. So that's really good. You could potentially get rid of a card, plus you get to special summon it, which will then get you some extra draw power, maybe making uh, your plays more secure when you go for Bella Madonna. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's Mandrake over there. Um, and then next up, we have one copy of Nightshade. So if this card is sent to the graveyard for the material value Trickstar at Link Monster, you can special summon this card, but banish it when it leaves the field. Um, it is a level one, so technically you can like one for one. I don't know how viable the card is. We didn't see it in the replays, but it is a newer card. I just wanted to go over the effect because I haven't really covered the new Trickstars in a, a gameplay aspect, but Subasa, I mean, you incorporated a majority of the Trickstars here, so that's kind of cool. Just to show you guys uh, like what the deck can do, but... Basically, uh, once you use this as material, you get to special summon itself again. Um, I, again, I, I just wish that it, it was easier to uh, like just special summon it. Like if you control the monster, just special summon it. The problem is, is that like I, I know you can technically utilize like if you already have something that survives, like you know, with honest or stuff, something like that, you're able to then summon it next turn. But it, well, the, the problem that I have with this is it's kind of hefting into an investment because if you're using multiple of your trickstar monsters. Uh, to just go ahead and go into Bloody Mary and hope that your play goes off. If they happen to have a warning, then like it can really hurt the deck. You can actually just lose straight up because of that. However, if Light Sage out, which is like 99% of the time, you're going to be okay on that play. So it makes it a little bit more safer if you want to just go ahead and go into... Oh, I guess you can go into Holy Angel too. But um, majority of the time, like it's usually Bloody Mary for this build because we're trying to uh, utilize appropriate. But yeah. Next up, we got two types of Ghost Ogre, one Regeki, double terraforming. Um, he's playing 45 in this build. Um, this is, again, the one that I, you guys have seen from the replays, but I could suggest some other cards, but uh, I, I personally think 40 is like the correct number for majority of decks. But anyways, um, the thing is, is that you have to keep in mind also, you will be drawing extra cards as appropriate. But anyways, next up, we got uh, two types of terraforming. Three copies of Chain Summoning, two copies of Revival uh, Arrival. So during the battle phase, immediately after this effect resolves, you get to Normal Summon. That's actually kind of important because uh, this card, Kadena, which is the most important card, it only gets its effect when it's Normal Summon. If it got its effect with Special Summon, it'd be amazing. Um, but yeah, uh, that's just to uh, go for that, really. I mean, you can bounce it back and summon again. It kind of works well with Chain Summon to summon like a lot of extra things, but it's for like extra, like huge, like turn one wins. Um, but anyways, next up we got Contract with Down Thousand. Now, some of you guys might be saying, like, why would you play a 45 card deck um, when you could just be playing 40? Uh, the reason why I think he's doing this is because he wants to, like, have, like, a bigger card pool because it's okay to run cards like Contract where both players draw a card in this because 
even if you're running over 40, your opponent is still, like, taking that extra damage, if you guys get what I'm saying. And the deck is pretty consistent, as is, with, like, multiple copies of Terraforming, multiple copies of Light Stage, and then Kandina searches out Light Stage, which searches out another card anyways. But you need your other cards, uh, so, yeah, that's why. And, uh, anyways, next up we got uh, Dark Moon Nightmare, two copies of those, three copies of Light Stage, two copies of Non-Aggressionary, that was a card I was talking about, we actually saw it during the replays. And we got Reincarnation, Double Appropriate, two copies of Grand Horn of Heaven, and, and triple copies of Recall, which is, again, that newer card that supports the Non-Aggressionary area playstyle where you're playing the deck at a little bit of a slower pace but uh we do have another well i guess we should go over the extra deck first we got the utopia lineup castell cowboy double bella madonna which is the towers two copies of holly angel two copies of the sweet devil three copies of bloody mary this is like the most important card for the appropriate build now there are two different builds of this um they're very similar um i personally like this one better uh, because if you're playing appropriate, I would just want to max out on those. I mean, this one is a pretty important card. Um, if you guys want to make suggestions, would love to hear them. But overall, we dropped the, um, uh, what was it? Uh, the, the one where it's like you, you get to just special summon it uh, if it's used as like a link, uh, like for a trick star. I'm not a fan of Revival or Rival 2. I, I mean, I, personally for me, I would drop the card. If you want to run Tram Summoning, it is technically I'll call Wombo Combo card. I would just max out on appropriate if I wanted to play this. It's an old school card and uh, it brings back some of the memories uh, because it, it is like a really insane card. However, there are a few problems with it. Like I said, it is definitely a slower card, but because of the other cards, your opponent might not really get a turn to attack your monsters. Therefore, you'll survive, and then obviously when the turn comes around when you're activating these kinds of cards, you're getting so much extra advantage, and with cards like Ghost Ogre, you're able to kind of stop your opponent's plays. If you want to run Ash Blossoms, you can definitely go for that as well. Uh, just kind of max out on Hand Traps could be definitely a good way to combo with Appropriate. Uh, just keep that in mind. But if you guys have suggestions for this deck, let me know in the comment section below. But hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing a completely different way to play Trick Stars with uh, one of the old school draw power cards, Appropriate. But uh, yeah, shoutouts again to Subasa, my homie, for sending in this uh, build of the deck. But thanks for watching, guys. If you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to see more new and innovative Yu-Gi-Oh! decks.